let's talk about um, source trees and shared trees. When you're using source trees, each source tree and group will be different. So for instance, in order for this source to re reach this receiver, the path of the multicast traffic could be this. But for another source, for instance this, the path could be completely different. So these trees are completely different from each other. These trees are identified by S, G entries, where S is the source IP address. For instance, this IP address. And G is the multicast address. For instance, this one. So S, G entries will point to the upstream next hop to reach the source. For instance, this router has this S, G entry and points to the next hop to reach the source, in this case, this router. And this other router does, has this S, G entry that will point to the next hop to reach the source. Now, when you're using shared trees, you will be using a rendezvous point in this uh, network. This router is the rendezvous point. These trees will use star comma g entries. The entries will point to the rendezvous point. In this case, the trees tend to be the same as they must cross through the rendezvous point. So for instance, in order for this source to reach uh, this uh, destination, for instance, the traffic will have to go this way. And this other source will use this path. So these trees tend to be the same up to the rendezvous point. Notice that from the rendezvous point up to the source devices, different trees will occur, so S, G entries will be used. So in this case, from this rendezvous point to this source, we will be using a source tree. And from this rendezvous point to this source, we will be using another source tree. But from the rendezvous point to the uh, uh, receiving devices, a shared tree is used.